Ladies and gentlemen, karibuni sana katika YouTube channel ya Kaka Shungura. Nataka niseme hivi kwamba shukrani sana za dhati kwa wale wote ambao mlinipiga jeki wakati gari langu lilipata ajali. Ni shukuru sana wote mlioshikana mikono kuhakikisha kwamba kaka amerudi barabarani tena. Ndio gari langu liko sawa. Limerudi. Kuna watu waliweka mkono. Wakasema kaka mimi nataka ninunue taa, kaka mimi nataka ninunue bamba, kaka mimi nataka ninunue side mirror, kaka mimi nataka kulipia pesa ya painting. Mungu abariki sana and I will always thank you because as I care for your well-being you also care for my well-being and I'm proud of that now back to politics wakati wa kampeni kulikuwa na wimbo ulikuwa unaendelea katika Kenya kwanza wimbo ambao ulikuwa unaimbwa kila siku na huo wimbo ulikuwa unasema our coming government will never borrow like the handshake brothers yes <laughs> will never borrow that was the song sisi hatutakopa kutengeneza barabara we will never borrow to pay school fees we will never borrow to have a subsidy We will never borrow to run government projects. Tutahakikisha kwamba deni la Kenya limerudi chini kwa sababu Handshake Brothers walikopa pesa wakakula zote. That was the song. Wewe wimbo si si mgeni kwa hata wewe uliusikia mahali. Wali hapa kanisani kwa Biblia. Ndio maana nikawaambia hawa watu niko ni, ni umbo mwitu wamevaa ngozi ya kondoo wamevali ya ngozi ya kondoo wamevali ya ngozi ya kondoo wamevaa ngozi ndani ni mashetani wakubwa ndani ni mademoni Walivalia ngozi ya kondoo ati waone wazuri hawatakopa. Walivalia ngozi ya kondoo ati waone wazuri hawatakula pesa ya serikali. Yaani mtu anasimama kanisani Jumapili. Anabeba Biblia. Anaimba. Anaimba jagu tumaini sina. He? Anakariri vifungu vya Biblia. Na anaapa katika madhibahu akisema mimi sitawai kopa pesa Kenya hii. Hapo ni kanisani kwa madhibahu hawana aibu. Hmm. As we speak right now in just one year just one year kwa mwaka mmoja tangu serikali ingie uongozini sio serikali nyingine ya Kenya kwanza Raila hayupo serikalini hatuna handshake huru hayupo serikalini waliokuwa wanaapa kwamba hatutakopa wamekopa maturilioni ya mapesa for luxury for luxury. Now let me ask you Kenyans. For all the trillions that was borrowed, show me even a single project initiated by Kenya Kwanza. Even a single just name it. The projects you are seeing them launching, those are Uhuru Kenyatta's projects. Some were even launched in 2016. Yaani people are borrowing trillions of shillings for luxury. Luxury I mean wakunywa chai state house. Kila weekend wapatikane ma state lodge wakipiwa mapicha na kuweka kwa mivuko 
kwa 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 makaunda suti wame wa, siju pesa zingine ni tanga tanga leo ni Australia kesho ni UK kesho ingine wako siju Uganda kesho ingine wameenda kuona Museveni kwa sababu wamehofia kwamba wakati huru alienda huenda aliweka mambo fulani so na wao wakaenda tu kosi ya kondo yani wamekopa as we speak Kenya is not allowed again to borrow why we have reached the maximum tumefika selling kama wameboro 1 trillion 1 ilikuwa 1.5 or 2 trillion in one year na akimaliza miaka 5 mtakuruo oh. mimi nilioanya mapema nikawambia wa Kenya kwa mapenzi ya Mungu jipange imagine people borrowing trillions of shillings at a time when We have no fuel subsidy hata kama wamerudisha juzi na wanaita stabilizer unajua hata kama waseme ni stabilizer hata kama waseme ni osmosis hata kama waseme ni what bado ni subsidy they can call it whatever they want to call it we don't care that is a subsidy they can explain it the way they want to explain it they can write parag- i saw Dennis Itumbi writing pages and pages just explaining a subsidy wa Kenya mimi nataka niseme hivi not even at national level i want to warn kenyans awe ni mca mnachagua awe ni governor awe ni member of parliament awe ni senator Do not elect boys into office. I'm telling you for a fact. Why? They make decisions out of pride and not out of reason. They speak to be seen. They speak just to patroi. Wao ndio kusema na kutenda. Naja wali hapa akasema we will never subsidize consumption we will never wamekopa matrilioni they can't subsidize even fertilizer furthermore yani mnapewa sadaka ya fertilizer alafu mnauzia wa Kenya Russia imesema Kenya inakufa. Wakapeana sadaka. Na watu ambao wanakula hiyo sadaka ni wachungaji wa kanisa wanaelewa kukula sadaka ni dhambi. Sasa wamechukua sadaka ndio wanauzia wa Kenya 2500. Yaani mbolea mmepewa bure nyinyi mnauza tu. Mtalaaniwa. <laughs> Ile ghadhabu ya Mungu iko njiani. Eh? <coughs> Unajua nimeona watu wameanza kufura miguu. Nimeona. Naona nimeona wanasiasa wengine hapo sijui ni akina nani wameanza kufura miguu. Hamuwezi kula cha masikini Mungu awasame. Hamuwezi mukanyanyasa masikini Mungu awasame. Haiwezekani. Lazima mutalipa. Lazima. Yaani mnapewa zawadi mletee wanyonge, mnapewa zawadi mletee wakulima ambao hawajiwezi. Nyinyi mnachukua zadaka, mnauza. Hiyo pesa mtatapika nyinyi. Ama itawauma tumbo. Mimi siwafichi na hii video mtaiangalia baadaye. God will never forgive you ati wako kwa makamera Kenya sasa wameka ma flag at now they are commissioning a subsidized fertilizer at 2000 kumba ni mulipewa bure 
Mimi nataka hata Putin aseme nirejeshe hiyo nini yangu. Russia, mseme sasa hiyo tuliwapatia mumeuza, turejeshe vitu yetu. Najua watu wanasema kaka zungumzia mambo ya Finland. Finland nitazungumza kesho. Hakuna vile mnatupatia sakari watusumbue Kenya, ati nyinyi mtoroke kwenda vile ni mtu wache Kenya. Haiwezekani Mungu alikataa. Tutakula na nyinyi hapa. Mutafika na mutarudi vile mulirudi. Ati mnataka kutoroka Kenya na shida hizi ni nyinyi mumeleta. Haiwezekani ndugu yangu. Kama ni uchumi itatuchapa wote hapa. Hakuna mahali mnaenda. Hamuendi mahali. Oh. Amwezi uza mbolea ya wanyonge and you walk scot free. Impossible. Impossible. Haiwezekani. Lazima mtakita pika ndugu zetu. Na msipoomba msamaa. Chenu kimotoni. Yaani serikali unajua mata karu alikuwa anasema serikali ya majambazi serikali ya wakora serikali ya wezi mnaipa paka cha wanyonge Mimi nitawaambia na sita waogopa Wa Kenya mjue fertilizer ambayo mnauziwa ili paona free kutoka Russia Sio mimi ninasema Maneno hayo yako katika vyombo vya habari. Si maneno ya kaka sungura. Mumeyaona hapa. Ile siku Mungu ataanza kuamuru mutapike. Mutahara, mutakimbia kwa macho na mutachoka. Kobles ulesa gentlemen. See you in the next video. Asanteni sana.